Hi guys, your tech admin here, and today we're going to be taking at a program called Arista Transcoder. Now, Arista Transcoder is an amazing application for um, converting videos from one format to another, specifically um, for certain devices. Now, it can be easily be blah, 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 easily obtained through the software center. Just search for Arista, and it should be the first result. Um, I recommend going with this version, but you can also download the latest version from their website. Now, Arista Transcoder's interface is very simple, and I'm just going to run through transcoding a video real quick. I actually use this to convert my videos um, for OpenShot, since OpenShot doesn't play too nice with um, the default OGV files that come from Rhythm, I mean, not Rhythmbox, but uh, Record My Desktop. Anyway, um, First thing you're going to do is select the source. You can rip straight from a DVD or choose a file. I'm just going to choose a file that I have in my uh, home directory already. Um, and there's all kinds of um, presets here. I've made a preset myself for record my desktop videos right here. So we're going to select that, normal. And add a queue. You're going to um, name the save file. That's fine. And save on the desktop. And save. And here you'll see a live preview and it'll start transcoding so that's nice and I can go ahead and cancel we'll take a look at that real quick and there you can see it did transcode just fine um, it's lossless also which means uh, you're not going to lose any quality at all when transcoding um, at least with these settings now you can download more settings for different devices um, you know, your different iPods and the iPhone and uh, computers Android phones, the Nokia N series, Sony PSP, Plus 3 um, there's a YouTube one I downloaded you can come down here to download more and it will take you to their website where they have a huge listing of different presets that people have um, contributed um, all kinds of stuff so you, they're really easy to download and install I'll just go ahead and show you how to do that real quick um, so we wanted this one here for the HTC Desire we just save the uh, BZ2 file open the containing folder extract it I'm going to copy these files here. Um, we're going to go to our home directory. Hold down Control and press H to show hidden files and folders. Go into the .arista folder, presets, and paste them in there. If it asks you to replace anything, just click Skip. There's no need to replace it. It means that that preset's already there, and this is just an option under the preset. So we can go ahead and close that. After you install, you're going to have to restart Arista. No big deal. And now we can see under Android Phone, which say we have right here HTC Desire. Very nice. Now you can also make your own presets like I did with my record my desktop preset by going to create new. It will open up in the web page which kind of upsets me. I'd like to see this incorporated into the application. I'd have to say that's my one complaint about the application is they didn't incorporate the creative preset in the application. But besides that you can just uh, go ahead and make a preset name it whatever you want. Um, choose an icon for it. Um, set all your containers. Um, AVI, uh, MP4, video quality, um, the range of allowed widths that it will take as input, um, range of frame rates that it will take as input, your audio codec information, all that stuff. Now these are just basic things that you can change around. For most users this would be adequate, but if you need more advanced setups you can always um, edit the .json file that it gives you um, and change um, more advanced settings within there 
like uh, I guess pixel X, pixel X, but uh, pixel X best. <laughs> Can't talk tonight. <laughs> pixel aspect ratio. <laughs> anyway, yeah, stuff like that. I'm kind of sleepy, guys. So <laughs> just kind of hang with me. Um, but yeah, this is a really great application. I'm loving it. Um, I'm guessing it's based off of either MinCoder or FFmpeg. So I guess it's just basically a front end for one of those. But it just makes things so much simpler. Um, I haven't had any troubles with it like I have with using MinCoder. I've had problems with video and audio not syncing and different problems like that. But so far this has worked amazingly. And uh, I would definitely recommend it to anybody looking to um, convert videos from one format to another or f um, to convert um, certain videos like a, maybe a DVD movie to uh, fit on their iPod. Um, I've converted a couple of movies to fit on my iPod Touch and I must say the quality is stunning. Um, there's no loss in quality at all when converting um, with this. So I definitely recommend it. Um, I tried to submit my record my desktop preset to the um, preset list online but the for some reason it's not working I just get a uh, 500 internal server error so maybe that will be fixed soon uh, but yeah this is a really great program and I recommend anybody trying to convert videos from one format to another it's a really powerful tool um, thanks for watching if you have any comments script um, if you have any comments or suggestions um, feel free to drop a comment um, and besides that not much else to say because this application does what it says it does. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.